Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how you can check whether a PHP variable is an array or not. We're going to be using the function isArray in PHP and also I'm going to be showing you how to use ternary statements to check that in a single line. Okay, so let's get into the code. Let's say, for example, we have a variable of person and this is actually going to be a string. So let's say we have person here and let's say we have the string of Peter Fisher like so. Okay, let's imagine this variable gets passed around our application and we want to ensure that this is an array. It's not, it's a string and therefore we will get an error, but we want to check that it is an array. So what we need to do is write a conditional statement to check for that. Type if, and then in the parentheses of if, you want to have is underscore array. This is the function that we're going to call. Pass in the variable that we want to check, in this case it's person, and then in the curly braces like so, in the body of the if statement, this block will be executed if person is an array. So what we can do is just print this is an array. We also need to have an else statement. Now this will be the other side of that condition. Therefore, this is being ran if it isn't an array. So let's type print this is not an array like so. Okay, so this is a string, it's not an array, therefore this should be printed here. Let's go and save this, go into the browser and load this page up. This code, by the way, is in the How to Code Well Code School GitHub repository, links in the show notes below. Okay, let's go into the browser. So the output we have is what is expected. This is not an array. Now this code is actually quite lengthy. It's several lines just to discover whether or not it is or isn't an array. What we can do is we can use ternary statements as a means of simplifying this condition on one single line. Let's go ahead and do that now. So what we're going to do is simplify this logic here. So what we're doing is we're saying is array passing in the variable and whether this is true or false, we print out a particular statement. So what we're going to do is do all of this, but on a single line. So this is how you do that. So on line, say line nine, let's type print. And then within the parentheses, type the function is array. So this is the function call that we used up here. Pass in the variable that we want to check, which is person. Now what we need to do is have a question mark. We also want to have a colon like so. Now, this side of the colon is this side of the condition. This side of the colon is this side of the condition. So this is going to be executed when it's true and this is going to be executed when it's false. So let's go and copy the print statements. Let's copy that, paste that into here. Let's also copy this and paste that into here. Obviously, make sure that you have a semicolon at the end here. So what I'm going to do is just comment all of this out like so, and then we're going to go and save the file and go into the browser and refresh the page. The page has refreshed, however, nothing has changed because it's still not an array and therefore we get this output. Okay, so let's go back to the code and see what's returned if we actually supply an array to this ternary statement. Okay, so we're going to create another variable. This variable is going to be called names and it's going to be assigned the value of a empty array. Okay, we're also going to copy this line here and we're going to paste it on line 11. We're going to copy the variable names and we're going to paste that over the top of this variable here. Now, this is still going to be not an array person because person is not an array, it's a string. However, this should come back and say that this is an array. Now, because we're using the print and we've got single quotes here, we need to have the ability of creating a new line. Now, luckily we can do that in PHP by typing print and then putting in a 
BR like so. Okay, so save your work and then go back into the browser and refresh the page. So here we can see that the first line, the person, is not an array. However, the name variable is an array. Even though it's an empty array, it's still an array because this function, the isArray function, is checking the data type of the variable that you supply. If you found this video helpful, then please let me know. Give it a thumbs up and also ensure that you've subscribed to the How to Code Well YouTube channel so you don't miss out on other coding courses and tutorials like this. Also, if you've got any coding questions, then don't hesitate to ask, but ask them on the Discord server. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord. There's a, a buzzing community there of coders ready to answer your questions. Also, whilst you're there, do check out the other courses and tutorials that I have as well. It's not just PHP, there's JavaScript, Docker, and all sorts of other web development stuff there too. Happy coding, everybody. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Cheers. Bye.